Welcome to the Family is Hard podcast, the podcast where we discuss the humorous side of parenting and life. And do to keep in mind, uh, we do it in adult fashion. There might be some colorful language and stories, so make sure the kids are away and not listening. But before we get going, remember to follow us on Twitter at Family is Hard. And if you want to join in the storytelling and tell some of your own tales, use the hashtag Family is Hard. And you can also find us on Facebook. We have a group there called Facebook.com slash groups slash Family is Hard. And you can share your stories there and also use that hashtag. And as always, I am joined by my better half, my wife, Monica. Monica, say hello. Hello. And this is our first episode where we are joined by one of our five children. We have on the line Bryce. Bryce, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Hey, have you um, thought about the name of the podcast? <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> Quit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. See? Right out of the gates. This, just I was so you know, not to laugh during your can, intro, uh, like so you can hear it. But like, there could be no better woo. introduction to Bryce than that because <laughs> yep. Bryce hears the word hard and he thinks about an erection, and I think the hard and it means it's that it's difficult. difficult. <laughs> it's a generational thing. No, it's a Bryce thing. No, our generation. No, it's not erections. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying your generation doesn't. It's just our generation thinks about them more. Hey, there's there's five children to prove there were some erections. That's right. Well, yeah. My, there, oh, I, my. And all five of them. Noah, there's a couple of them that are going to laugh about the same thing I did. Like, <laughs> yes. It's not just me. Perhaps. You know, don't even, perhaps, don't perhaps. even put that on me. Perhaps. Uh, <laughs> you know, Noah's just like me, so he's probably going to laugh about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Bryce is on today because we're going to tell a story about Bryce and and uh, Monica set the state. What I don't even remember it was in high school, but what year was what grade level was this when this happened? Or Bryce, someone tell me. I don't even remember. weren't you a junior? Was, yeah, it was junior year. Okay, yes. I think I was because I was seventeen. Okay, so Bryce was a junior in high school, and they yeah. had an open lunch where they could leave campus for lunch, <laughs> and across the road from Bryce's high school was a shopping mall, and in this we shopping mall. Kmart. Was a Kmart. <laughs> All right, so there's this Kmart across the road from the high school, and one day Bryce ventures over there on lunch, and I get a call while I'm at work from her oldest son, Ike, who tells me that something's going on with Bryce, and I can't remember if he said he, he didn't come back to school or he's not in class or he's in the principal's office or something's going on with Bryce. And I, I had to dig a little bit and ask him, like, okay, is, is he hurt? What's going on? And Ike said, no, he's not hurt. It's not that. So I had to dig to try to get the, the, the straight answer for what was going on because I knew what was going on because he'd heard, he'd heard the tale. So, so Monica, you tell about the call you got, though, on your side, uh, and it'll, it'll reveal what, what had happened. So I'm at home, and I get this phone call from Bryce. Now, Bryce, I can tell by his voice if he's calling me with good news or bad news. And this was like bad news, Bryce. And he's like, Mom, I need you to come to Kmart. Um, I think they're going to call the police because I got caught shoplifting. <laughs> yeah. Now, I think it's important to note that Bryce has, I, by legal definition, I am Bryce's stepmother. Not by like heart definition because he's just my kiddo. But... He had the choice to call his mom or his dad, and he was like, I'm picking the one that's probably not going to kill me over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, so I, that's what Ike told me. Ike told me that he heard that, that Bryce stole stuff, and he's over there, and he's, uh, according to Ike, the rumor, the worry, the story was that you were already arrested, that the, the cops were already there. You were in cuffs, I believe. It was, it was already to that point. So Yeah, it was like. That got to other high schools before I even left the store. Like, <laughs> the other high schools knew about it before I got to my school back across the street. And Because like, people were texting people from, like, my friends from the other schools were texting people from my school. Like, did Bryce really get arrested? I was like, I, 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 I didn't even make it back to school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when we, by the time 
when all this was over and I had time to look at my phone, I had received like a dozen messages from parents who were like, <laughs> oh my gosh, is Bryce in jail? I mean, yeah. it this thing like just grew into this huge monster. Yeah, so it, to be fair, Bryce was never arrested per se. There was no arrest no. made. He did not go down. No. And did the police even come, Bryce, or was it just the security? No, it was just security. The police, yes. uh, I cooperated, so the police never were called. Yeah. And, okay. And by cooperated, <laughs> he legitimately got caught shoplifting. Well, hold on. What is so? What is, tell first? Tell what you shoplifted, Bryce. That at uh, this it's, <clears throat> this particular instance here. What I had stolen that time. <laughs> Yes, that time. <laughs> I know that sounds bad. <laughs> like, like, you want what I stole that time or what I got caught with or both? Well, okay. Probably both. Both. Okay, Start so with what you got caught that, with. That, that time, currently, that what I got, what I was stealing, uh, I think it was, um, I don't remember the brand, but they were energy drinks. Yes. I think I had like four of them. <laughs> Yeah, I wore cargo shorts and I put them in the side pocket. I'm not yes. getting tips. That's just what I did. <laughs> now, I I'm a hundred percent sure you had your wallet in your back pocket. How much yeah. money was in your wallet? I can remember uh, at, <laughs> at least thirty dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's that's what literally was the most perplexing. Is I'm like. He well, because like paid. I knew, Dad knew I had that thirty dollars. So if I spent any of it, he would get angry <laughs> that I <laughs> spent it. So for whatever reason, I went to that. I don't know why. Don't ask me what my thought process was. So I'm going to get angry that you spent the money. I'm not going to get angry apparently that you shoplifted, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I didn't get caught, you wouldn't uh, know. Dad being angry, jail. Jail is better. So that's what you got <laughs> yeah. caught with. So, so what all? So, go ahead then with what you actually stole. What else? What all? Oh well. And in addition, all I had was a, a jump drive and um, a pair of headphones. Yes. Yeah. Which you came clean on. They didn't know you had those, right? Yeah. Well, they told me to empty my pocket. <laughs> and it well, yeah. Dumb. But did they know you had stole those, or did they? Well, the headphones was like they. Kmart sold the headphones. Like it was like, I don't okay. know if anywhere else really sold them, but I, I admitted to stealing the stuff from there. Yes. Okay. So 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 why did you why did you steal it? <laughs> why? Let's, let's... Oh, I I have no idea. It was uh probably saw one of my friends doing it, and then I was like, oh, you know, all right, I'll try it. And then because it was like, I don't know if you know this, but it was like. Two weeks. What was two weeks? How long I did it. I did it for like yeah, two yeah. weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, we did that. Yeah, you told us okay, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't, yeah. I did, I did it for like two weeks, and that's, then I got caught. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know Kmart had a, an LP. <laughs> uh, <laughs> loss like, prevention, loss prevention. The only thing that Kmart was like good for was layaway, and that only came once a year. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think that loss prevention only came once a year, too? Well, I, I, I thought, you know, the store barely did any business. I thought they couldn't afford loss prevention or something like that. Like, there were no other Kmarts within, like, a 50-mile radius of that Kmart. So, <laughs> oh, gosh. It's kind of like a blockbuster kind of thing. Like, they probably didn't have LP. They just had a door that said loss prevention. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... So then, so well, this. But they did. They did have an LP. <laughs> yes, and they and they caught you, and you. Yeah. Let's see. Did did you get in trouble at school? Was there any? Oh, there couldn't have been. Yeah, I got. Play. Oh, yeah, you did because yeah, I got, day, I got a day. I got a day. I got a day of OSS. Yeah, out of school suspension. For like, those that, so don't that, know. that next day, that next day, that next day, I was suspended. Yes. Yeah. Because then, I did it. The only reason is because I did it during school hours. Like I did it now, on. Yeah. My. Lunch. And yeah. if it had been after school, I wouldn't have gotten any repercussion from school. But just because it was during school hours, yeah, I was technically in school. So I, why I got suspended? Okay, so what do you what do you remember, Bryce, about when we picked you up and everything? You were no, you no, were, no. Hold on a second. I think we need to remember that I called I 
before we even got to Kmart, I called Dave and we finally connected and he's like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Well, this, this is where I'm I was like, going. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, hold the phone. I have to tell you something about Bryce. And he's like, what do you mean? And, and I'm like, I just talked to Bryce. We've got to get to Kmart. So I say to Dave, I'm like, someone needs to call Bryce's mom. And um, Dave's like, yeah, you're going to have to do that. And I'm like, what? So I call. And anytime I've ever had to call her, she always answers the phone like she's irritated with me before she's even spoke to me. But I think that's the whole ex-wife, current wife thing. But <laughs> And I'm like, hey, I, I I hate to bother you at work, but listen, you know, Bryce called. This has happened. Um, we're heading to Kmart. Do you want to meet us there? And she was like, yes. And I'm like, oh, yay. Now she's mad at him instead of me. Woo! <laughs> so we all three come. And I don't know if Bryce thought maybe I would just come and we wouldn't tell anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but when we walked in and all and behind me is Dave and then your mom, your look on your face was like, oh, damn. <laughs> well, the oh, damn was more because of dad. Like, my, my uh -huh. mom is like, my, I, I could, like, my mom does not scare me. <laughs> so I, I do not feel intimidated as a parental figure from her. It's, I know it sounds bad, but like. So I don't remember. Did you go back to school? Did you go back to school? Yeah. Well, yeah, because you guys did not meet me at Kmart. You guys met me at yeah, the school. Yeah, it was at the school. We went no, we... because yeah, I, we I, I went back. I went back to Trig for like trigonometry pre-cal. Yeah, because uh, I came in the room. I didn't say a word to fucking anybody. I was because I was like 15, 20 minutes late to class. Wow. I went and sat down at the back table, and then I heard the phone ring. I knew it was for me. Um, and um, my teacher at the time, I won't say his name, but my teacher at the time. Uh, said that I needed to go down to the principal's office, mm -hmm. and uh, I think you guys were already there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys. I I walked up there. I remember mom was mom was there first. You and mom. I think you and my mom got there later. So I think it was just mom and the principal in that little uh, office room at first. No, we met. We met. You were at Kmart still back in the little Kmart jail oh did you meet me there first and then yes over to school? we met okay. you there and then we took you back to school but then the school had us come back and pick you up right yeah, yeah and i remember i got i got in the car uh and dad was like work school home that's it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah no and, and um, do you do you remember what else he like said to you? Longest, uh, I'm, no. It's like a, a blur. He, because before we even picked you up, I told him, I said, you are not to yell at that kid all the way home. Yes, this is where I was getting at. That we and, actually had a discussion before picking you yes, up. <laughs> because I'm Because I'm a big person about looking people in the eye when you talk to them. And I didn't want him staring at you in that rear view mirror yelling at you because I knew you already felt bad because you well, weren't a bad kid. And you knew you knew that Bryce would stew in it, though, that whole time if yeah. it was quiet. So I told your dad, I said, you do not yell at that kid all the way home. And I and so, Dad, as you got in the van and you closed the door and because, you know, this was back when the door still opened. Yeah, um, that, that's a, that's <laughs> That's another story we'll have on that on the van. And you closed yeah. the door, and, and he said that to you. He said, work, school, home. And then he said, I want you to think about what you've done, and I want you to tell me what you think your consequences should be. And, yeah. And oh, we I told him everything, all, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. You What you came up with as a punishment was so more, much more than we had decided. And we were like, okay, that sounds good. <laughs> I think that's why I wasn't, because like I was going to say, that's not even the longest punishment I've had. <laughs> no. That, I think that one lasted um, under a month. I think it was like three weeks. Well, well, but you had the side, you did do restitution. So yes. let's talk about that. So you had to go, you did have a probationary officer oh, type yeah. thing, and you had to yeah. do yeah. community service. So you remember meeting them? And remember when we met them for the first time and we were setting this up? 
Did we go to the probation office to do that? Yeah. Yes. And you remember him saying that, well, you didn't have any record. You were, you were a good student, no science. And I remember him saying, oh, there's these things that you could do that, you know, you remember all that? I, I don't remember other options aside from the four to six months probation and 24 hours of community service. Well, no, 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 not that. It's what you could do for the yeah. community service. Oh. Remember he had, uh, he had these, these, well, what, what I thought oh, was how, like, I, I could like, I could like choose my own, like yeah. I could go to, like do my own thing or I could do the work crew. Yeah. Well, no, the work crew, remember me saying he'll do the work crew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't remember. I just remember that's what I ended up doing. Like, yeah. I, yes. I, I could, I couldn't think of a place to go anyway. Like, I mean, we have like love chapel and stuff like that, but I, well, yes. it would have just been easier for me to just do the work. Well, crew. we told him you were doing the work crew. And it was in, in, January. in January or whatever, and it was <laughs> it was cold. Yeah, it was, so. We we wanted to make yeah, sure like, you learned the lesson full effect. Well, the first two days, like, because they, they did it once a month on a Saturday and Sunday, so yeah. I had yeah. to do three three days since I had the twenty four hours. So I had to take off work too, um, and uh, so the first two days we picked up trash on the side of country roads. Uh, but then the that next month when we did it, it was raining really, really bad. So um, all we did was peel the stickers off of PAL football helmets. <laughs> <laughs> it was like me and two other kids. Like that wasn't that bad. I was like, man, this is easy compared to last time. I was like, I got to pick up cold ass trash and like, cause like my fingers when I actually met one of my buddies that I had from like before that, like when I was younger, a kid that I used to play baseball with but on the work crew the first weekend I was there. Oh, what a story that is. <laughs> a rekindled like, oh, friendship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, but you know, you never had any other legal or, you know, trouble with the law and everything else. So, I, I think you learned your lesson that day with the shoplifting, did you not? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely so. Yeah, I haven't had any other now, running with the now, un- law, with law enforcement. And un- unfortunately, this won't be our only uh, theft family story, but that's with another one of your younger siblings for the future. Uh, we'll have to discuss that. Yeah, I think I know. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, well that'll Maybe. be a, that'll be another story. So. So we're gonna wrap it up there with with Bryce on this and his his uh, <laughs> his thirty dollar in his pocket shoplifting spree, and because he because he thought I was gonna be mad that he spent the money, so he thought well shoplifting's a better option. And <laughs> oh, I did, I did. They had one liter Mountain Dews for ninety nine cents. You so sold a one it. liter of Mountain Dew. <laughs> they would. So they what? What you bought a one liter of Mountain Dew with your pockets full of stuff? Yeah, so they wouldn't think I just walked in and walked out. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my thought process. But the one lead, they were like 99 cents. So was, I got to keep that because I paid for that. So I got, <laughs> <laughs> I got to leave with that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, all right. So that's it for this. Uh, this is, and, and you're probably going to hear Bryce chuckle, but this is the Family is Hard podcast. And where we discuss the humorous side of parenting and family life. Uh, and uh, you can join us on Twitter at follow us at, at Family is Hard. And find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash group slash Family is Hard. And uh, well, thank you, Bryce, for coming on and talking about your, your day of theft. And uh, Yeah, no problem. And being a good sport about it. So that's it. Until next time, Bryce, say goodbye. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Monica, say goodbye. Hasta luego. And we'll see you next episode. Bye, everybody.